Oblada, oblada, and we're doing it normally. You would put a capo on the third fret, but we're not doing that because we don't have capo, so you don't have one. Start with G, and here's the trick. Stay back over there, please. Wow. Because, and then D7 to get from G to D7. Take your third finger on G, you slide it down a fret, and you add two fingers. Same thing when you go back, just slide up and down. So it's a slide back and forth, right? G, D, 7, and then you have C chord, which you already know you should be putting big C by now. All right. One, two, three, four, D, 7. One, two, three, four, and G. One, two, three, going to C. And watch out here. One, two, one, two, one. Chorus of bloody. In a couple of years, part. In a couple of years, the abel the dawn. G seven U chord. Hold on a second. G seven. In a couple of years, da 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 da. Then G E to D seven. You should be able to learn these chords really well and do a strumming like this. Down up, 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 down up. Got it? New chord, kind of, D7, new chord, kind of, G7, which is that's G. G7. 